very brief myself because I'm not here to hear me. Uh, you know, it's my honor today to introduce our new chief of police for the town of Ware, John Buleta, and to welcome his family and friends here this afternoon. Uh, the Board of Selectmen, working with uh, municipal resources, and incorporated went through a very extensive search and an intensive uh, interview and review process in order to arrive where we are today. Uh, John comes us from us, uh, Chief Director, I should say, comes to us from uh, New Haven, Connecticut, where he has served a long and distinguished career, starting as patrolman some 20 years ago, and rising to assistant chief and assistant chief. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because when we finish the ceremony part of this, John will speak for himself. Uh, so I would go once again, I'd like to welcome you to this swearing-in ceremony today, and just to note that the actual start of uh, his uh, term as police chief will be November 1st. Okay, so with that said, John, up. Chief Stephanie Redding to Assistant Chief Pat Redding. As much as I tried, 
I was unable to comprise a full list of things to, to thank you for. Uh, so I'm just going to have to say thank you, and I'm going to assume that you know why. Uh, we have been through some very dark periods together, and for most of the time we had no idea how far the tunnel extended or for how long. And any light at the end of the tunnel was merely a hope rather than a reality. But you taught me never to forget that our true, stand, strength, our true strength always lied in each other. And that's how we survived. To the men and women of the New Haven Police Department who are in attendance today, thank you for allowing me to reap the rewards of your hard work. The pride I feel today is a result of your diligence, perseverance, and professionalism. And even though I know you are all accustomed to collecting hours of hard work much more than you are titled, I'm proud to see that you've all been promoted or on the brink of being promoted. Congratulations to all the And last, but certainly not least, thanks to my life alert. It's, it's commonly stated that being this possible police officer is not for the weak, nor the self-centered, nor the needy. And most of the time, it requires the same amount of dedication to our profession as we have. Where's where is Larissa? She's hiding. The She's outside with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fittingly. Fittingly. Uh, Gloria, thank you for riding this roller coaster with me and never trying to jump off. I love you very much. 2004 will be a new beginning for the Weir Police Department. Certainly that is what our members of town government are, are promising. Uh, they also pro proclaim the new police chief bring change and that they are in favor of change. In my experience, however, being in favor of change is like being a little bit in favor of gravity. Change will come whether you favor it or whether you don't. In fact, it seems the only constant in life is change. Uh, the question, however, is how will we respond to inevitable change? Problems of society change in degree and magnitude. Problems of the community change in scope and seriousness. The responsibility for those of us in town and city government is to anticipate, respond to, to mitigate the negative aspects of change while facilitating and encouraging positive change. In police work, the more things change, the more in some ways they stay the same. Although the challenges of the police must confront change, our fundamental responsibilities do not. Nearly two centuries ago, Robert Peel, the father of modern policing, said, the basic mission of the police, for the police to exist is to prevent crime and disorder. The types of crime may change over time, and the types of public disorder the police must manage may change over the time. Nonetheless, our responsibility remains to prevent crime and disorder. To those two fundamental purposes of the police, the third must also be added, and that is to reduce the level of fear in the community by increasing the level of trust and confidence in police services. I expect that the Weir Police Department will be organized and focused on accomplishing that basic mission. Our measure of success will not be the number of arrests will not be the number of traffic citations we issue or our response time to non-emergency calls. Our measure of success will be the reduction of crime and fear in our community, as well as our relationship with the community as a whole. To accomplish our mission, we will have a basic community-based, problem-oriented, problem-solving problem -solving strategy that emphasizes integrity, accountability, and transparency. We will measure the results of our efforts and hold ourselves accountable to each other and to the community. It is often said in police agencies that patrol is the backbone of the agency. Yet all too often, we act like patrol is an expendable resource made up of call answers and report takers, while the real work is done by someone else. Well, that has to change. We're not report takers, we're the police. And every member of this agency will be judged on their contribution, contribution to our core mission. To the supervisory officers of the Weir Police Department, I commit myself to empowering you and developing you as potential leaders. I believe responsibility must be accompanied by sufficient authority to accomplish the mission. I believe in the principles of delegation and accountability. I believe firmly that the police department does not exist not to make, state, not, not to make mistakes. It exists to accomplish something very important. You are responsible for the safety of this community. You are responsible for the performance of your people and for meeting the legitimate needs, their legitimate needs. Your officers need to know how they are doing, how they are doing. They need to know that willful incompetence will not be ignored. Good work will be recognized, and honest mistakes will be dealt with, dealt with differently than misconduct. They need to know you care about them and for them, and you will do anything to do to help them succeed in our mission. I also expect your best advice, and for that advice to be about the future of this department and the community, not your career. 
I have very little patience with office politics, rival factions, or cliques. Your first and only loyalty must be to this community. To the officers of the Ware Police Department, I commit myself to do all I can to see that you are properly trained, equipped, supervised, and supported. I believe in you. I believe you became police officers because you saw moral clarity and wanted to make a difference in people's lives and in the life of your community. I pledge to you to foster an environment worthy of the idealism that brought you to us. I recognize that police work is hard and that it can be emotionally debilitating. I know firsthand about the frustration of the work and the constant risk of the demoralizing cynicism company that accompanies it. But I also know that your work has meaning. If anyone lives a purpose-driven life, it's a police officer. The greatest antidote to cynicism is a sense of accomplishment accompanied by support, by support and acceptance from your community. You also need to, to believe that your opinion matters. You are closer to the work than anyone in the agency. If this department can successfully draw on your energy, your commitment, and your ideas, we will accomplish great things. I pledge to you that we will create an environment where you feel like you matter. What I expect in return from you is integrity, courage, competence, commitment, compassion, restraint, and respect for your department, yourself, each other, and the community. I expect you all to be leaders. You are as responsible for the morale and reputation of, the, of this department as I am. You must be the custodians of the honor of police. I not only expect you to refrain from misconduct, I expect you to prevent it. Too often police officers are defined by our worst examples, not our best. Every act of misconduct undermines respect for everyone who is a badge at the end of the rule of law. To the members of the Weir community, I promise a transparent, accountable, accessible police department that is responsive to your concerns. So I hope that someday support for this department will uniformly be strong across our community. I hope someday that our community will be willing to suspend judgment when there is a critical incident to all the facts are in. But I recognize that we are not there yet. This police department and this community have a history, and that history has not always been positive. We will learn to work from that history, but we will not be held hostage to it. We will work to earn your trust by reducing crime, fear, and disorder in your community while treating you with dignity and respect. What I expect in return is for every member of our community to understand that public safety is not a spectator sport. Safe neighborhoods are the result of people and their police working together to create communities capable of sustaining civic life. We have a mutual obligation to do our respective parts. I recognize that I am in a new political environment and it will take me time to understand it and learn to navigate it. But I want all those to know who operate in that environment that I assume goodwill. I believe that our goals for this community are the same. I suspect from time to time we'll have our, different, our disagreements about means, but not about ends. I will be an advocate for the needs of the department, but I also know we do not operate in a vacuum. I know many worthy services find themselves competing for scarce resources. <coughs> I pledge that I'll manage the resources provided to me for the department prudently, and I will take your needs, issues, and concerns seriously while endeavoring to respond to them appropriately. In return, I expect your support for our efforts and a true partnership with us as we work together to overcome our challenges. As I near the closing of my speech today, I humbly ask you for the assistance in helping me keep a promise that I make to myself every time I place a pair of white gloves on top of a casket draped in American flag. And that promise is that we never forget our police officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice by giving their lives to secure our safety. Now I respectfully ask we bow our heads in a moment of silence for all of our police officers as well as the members of our armed services that have given their lives while protecting our, and serving our country. Specifically, I would like to acknowledge the following New Haven police officers who have honorably given their lives in the line of duty over the course of the last decade. Officer Robert Fumiati, Detective Andrew Faggio, Officer Daniel Picaglia, Sergeant Dario Aponte, Sergeant Diane, uh, Officer Diane Gonzalez, and of the Milford Police Department, let us never forget Officer Daniel Watson. Thank you.
To all my brothers and sister officers, <clears throat> I implore you to never give up on your dreams and to continue to work diligently towards your goals as you are a member of the most noble of professions. Never let your expectations or your perceptions flavor what you see or how you will react. And most important, keep close watch over each other, your family, your community, and our great nation. In closing, I will admit that daunting challenges lay before us, but I have the confidence in this community and its cops. Together, we will achieve great things. Change is coming. It's coming fast, and it's inevitable. But we're in this together. Now let's go to work. Thank you. Thank you. 